Donnie Schatz at 107.244 miles per hour. Donnie Schatz atop the speed chart now. Next pair of mind-place hotels qualifiers on the speedway from Watertown, Connecticut. The Houston Speedway Billion Automotive Jackson Motorplex. High performance lubricants. JRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. And from Plainfield, Indiana, the Simpson St. Dick with Hoosier Tires, Maxim Chassis, number six of Bill Rose. David Gravel in the two, Bill Rose in the number six. Gravel's second place finish here last year. The best of his nine World of Outlaws starts at the Port Royal Speedway. Opening lap for David Gravel is second quick at a 16-7-31-6-7-3-0. Rose stops the clock with an 18-195-18195 on his first mind place hotel's qualifying lap. David Gravel out of turn four, second lap time is a 16-7-89. First lap just a touch better at 16-7-3-0. Uh, looking forward to tonight. We ran second here uh, last year at the end of the season. Obviously, uh, today is going to be a lot warmer than it is in the fall, so I think it's going to be a little bit slicker. But, um, you know, I feel like we are pretty good in the slick at, at Eldora. So now we're in the middle of the summer, and this is probably the hottest day of the season for us. So, uh, you know, they do a great uh, job here with the racetrack, and uh, the surface is really good and, and typically doesn't ever take rubber. So I know it'll be a good race. We just got to get our car right, and, uh, you know, hopefully we could have a strong weekend and, and challenge for a win or two and uh, try to keep this momentum rolling. Green flag waving in this one. They track race down that long front stretch toward corner number one. Up on top, Sheldon Hodgson down low, David Gravel. Sheldon has the lead, and now Devin Borden and Fred Marks coming after Gravel for second marks to the inside of Borden racing for third as they reach turn number three. Marks not done there. He sweeps to the inside of Gravel. Oh, they nearly get together coming out of turn number four. They'll stay side by side for second. A spot in the dirt vision. Fast pass dash up for Gravel. Now Marks takes second. Gravel turns it back underneath. They'll stay wheel to wheel down the back straightaway. Gravel back to second as they roll into turn three. David Gravel trying to get downstairs to slam the door on Brent Marks. They'll stay side by side. Second place. Wheel to wheel as they cross the start finish line. Brent Marks low. David Gravel up high. Marks slides up the banking again. Gravel turns it underneath him, looks for the move to reclaim second at the end of the back straightaway. While this is happening, Sheldon Hodgson is absolutely gone in the NOS Energy Drink number 17. Gravel now into second as they cross under the start finish line with two, pardon, with three laps down and five laps to go. Gravel pulling away from Marks now, solidifying the second position. Marks rolls in the third spot, Devin Porter in fourth. Dylan Sisney in the fifth and final transfer spot as they make their way to through turns three and four. Last time by two and three quarter seconds, the lead for Sheldon Hodgson. This time it has grown to 3.16 seconds. Sheldon Hodgson putting it on the field in this one, half a second faster than anyone else in the second heat race. Five laps down and three laps to go. Sheldon Hodgson with the advantage. Now, battle heating up for the fourth, fifth, and sixth positions. Right now, it is Devin Porter running fourth. Dylan Sisney in fifth, the final transfer is one. Jake McFadden trying to come from dead last in this one and transfer into the feature. He closes in on Sisney, who in turn closes in on Devin Borden. Borden right in the middle of the racetrack. Dylan Sisney down low to the bottom as well goes James McFadden. McFadden now eight car lengths behind Sisney for the final transfer spot with now less than two laps remaining. Sisney runs the bottom in one and two while G-Mac tries to make it work on the high side. White flag already displayed to race leader Sheldon Hodgson. Half a mile to go in our second heat race. Dylan Sisney still holds the final transfer spot. James McFadden not close enough to try to make anything happen in turns one and two. Leader already into the final set of corners. Sheldon Hodgson absolutely destroys the field in the second heat race, picking up the win in car number 17. Second will go to David Gravel. Brent Marks finishes in the third spot. Fourth will go to Devin Borden and Dylan Sisney getting that fifth and final transfer position. It's David Gravel. Just looked, oh no, what happened? Seven. Oh, we're back on the streak of the seven. Yeah, that, that's just one. That's just one, that's okay, that's just one. And after the week you had at Eldora with two wins, how much did that help morale with the team? Oh uh, yeah, it helped a lot. Um, had a great week, we were fast every time we hit the racetrack. Uh, there in the heat race, uh, didn't feel too great. So I'm happy we're in the dash, get another shot at the racetrack and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, good luck. Next driver up. Flag is in the air for the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. Donnie Schatz leads them into turn one. Kyle Larson around the 41 of Macedo for second and coming after Schatz. Sheldon Hodenshield from dead last to battle for third at the midpoint of the back 
straight away. Hottenshill took a peek to the outside of the 41 of Carson Messina, but now opens up the bottom of the speedway. Three cars battling for third, three wide, and a great race for the lead as well. Kyle Larson all over, Tony Shots now makes the move to the outside. Shots keeps the power to the ground. Forces the hit at the end of the back straightaway. Donny shots down low. Kyle Larson in the middle of the racetrack. Shots drifts high to keep the race lead. Larson is right on his back bumper as they complete lap number two. Larson in the middle in turns one and two. Donny shots down low, drifting high. Kyle Larson around the outside with the lead. And Sheldon Hottenshield driving by Danny Dietrich. Last to third for the Noss Energy Drink number 17. Shots back to the inside of Larson. It cannot return serve. Larson leads at the halfway point three in the books. Three laps remaining. Kyle Larson leading and Donnie Shots running second. Danny Dietrich trying to come back and Sheldon Hunter gets very close to the wall in turns one and two. Hunter last to third. Dietrich running fourth and David Gravel seventh into the fifth spot. This time by two laps to go and Kyle Larson pulling it away from Donnie Shots in the Silver Motors Sports number 57. He has gotten a 1.2 second lead over the 10 time champion. Now the base for third now heats up again as Sheldon Hunter continues to bang the wall Three-car battle at the end of the back straightaway. Max 
right, guys, got back to the hotel. The night is over at Port Royal. We were able to qualify second quick overall. It was really good in qualifying, probably the best we felt all night. Uh, the heat race, we started on the pole of heat race number two. Lost the start to Sheldon, slid up the racetrack. Brett Marks slid me, um, battled with him for three or four laps. I was able to fight him off and uh, run second and get into the dash. Uh, the dash draw, man, it was one, three, and seven left. I got the seven, started seventh in the A main, was able to uh, gain two spots and get the fifth, and that put us starting fifth in the A main. Still in the dash, didn't feel that great. A couple guys were a lot worse than us, but still wasn't ideal in what we wanted to do, and um, kept trying to chase the racetrack and make it better in the A main. We just did not have the drive uh from lap one really um did not get down the front stretch good didn't get through one and two very good i was able to hit the bottom in three and four early on but uh the track ended up being pretty dominant around the top and uh throwing sliders and then it seemed like late in the a main there you were able to run the bottom run down the track and it was getting better down there but uh we fell back to 11th so i think i ran around ninth the whole race Lost a couple spots at the end, so not ideal, not what we wanted. Uh, Port Royal is an extremely tough racetrack to get a hold of, especially when it's that slick. It was 90, 95 degrees all day, super hot. We qualified in heat race in the sun still, so um, was definitely an extremely slick track and something that we never get with the World of Outlaws. We typically go there in October. It's a lot cooler, typically rains, and it's a lot faster. So we'll take the 11th and move on to Williams Grove next. But I got some chocolate milk to try out. Uh, these are from Ohio. This is called Paint Valley Farms, Beach City, Ohio. This was at a local, it was called Grassroots in Worcester, Ohio. It's a uh, like a little market, uh, farmer's market or whatever. So it looked like it was local, which it is. So I'm going to try it out. Cheers. I'm going to go with, you definitely taste like the chocolate syrup, like it tastes like Hershey's chocolate syrup in there, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm going to go with 7.1 on that one. This one is Buckeye Country Creamery, LLC. It says Shakewell Cream Top. It's located in Fredericksburg, Ohio. So let's see if we get a good one for the Buckeyes here. It says shake good, so making sure I'm doing that. That's different as well. Hmm. Not my favorites. I'm going to go with a 6.9 on that one. So Buckeyes did not score any victories, either did I. We got Williams Grove for two days of Summer Nationals. <clears throat> Please ring the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. We gained a lot of subscribers last week uh, during the <clears throat> excuse me, Kings Royal Week. So <clears throat> appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate all. The comments, keep commenting. Hopefully you guys, I love the positive feedback, but always the negative feedback too to see what you guys want moving forward. I did all these these videos pretty much myself. We had Natalie, the t-shirt girl, do some stuff in the pits after the races. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll see you at Williams Grove in a day. Thanks, guys.